Hi, welcome back to Cadible and uh, today we will model this uh, pipe fitting elbow in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, first of all, we will model in SOLIDWORKS 2020 and then we will export our model to Keyshot 9 for uh, some basic rendering. I will attach uh, these files in uh, description link for practice and uh, let's start the uh, part modeling. Let's go to uh, new, select part and select OK and now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface. Uh, first of all, I'll change my background to plain white and uh, let's go to uh, front plane, go to sketch and uh, select line, we make uh, two lines and uh, let's dimension these, this dimension is 35 millimeters, this is also 35, select this line and holding the shift key select this line and make equal relation. Next I'll go to sketch tool. In fact, I'll go to fillet tool and uh, I'll make a fillet of 15 millimeters and select OK. Next, uh, I'll go to features and select OK. I'll go to features, I'll go to swap pause space and uh, select this circular profile and uh, select this sketch. Let's rotate my model and uh, let's change it to 20 millimeters. Go to thin feature, I want uh, uh, thickness of 3 millimeters and uh, select OK. Next is uh, we will make uh, two extrude bosses on this face and on this face. Uh, let's select this face, go to sketch and uh, Select this circle and uh, you uh, select this convert entities. Next, uh, select offset tool, select this uh, circle and uh, we make an offset of 3 millimeters and select OK. Next, uh, I'll go to extrude boss and uh, reverse direction 5 millimeters and select OK. And we'll do same. Uh, operation here as well select this face go to sketch and uh, let's select this circle go to convert entity next go to offset tool select this circle again and uh, 3 millimeters ok let's go to features extruded boss and we'll make a reverse extrusion of 5 millimeters and uh, select this merge entity otherwise it will create two solid bodies select ok Next, uh, next uh, we will apply a thread feature and uh, let's go to thread feature and uh, let's select this circle or this edge and let's change it to let's say M22 by 1.5 and cut extrude and uh, I want an offset of uh, 2 millimeters, right? You can change its degree and uh, you can change offset and uh, maintain thread le length, okay? In fact, uh, trim with start face and trim with end face, select okay. So, threads are created and uh, Next is uh, in fact, uh, go back to thread feature again and uh, let's reverse this. Okay, now the threads are coming uh, in the right way. Okay, uh, we'll apply same thread feature here as well. Let's go to whole wizard and under whole wizard you will find this thread option. Let's select this edge for this circuit and uh, let's change uh, select this and this and uh, let's 
say if I check this box and select reverse. Okay. So threads are created and uh, lastly I'll apply some fillet to these edges. So go to features, go to fillet and uh, select this face and uh, let's change the fillet value to 1 millimeter and select this face as well. This, uh, in fact this uh, edge and this edge and select OK. So uh, it is created and uh, let's go to appearance and uh, under metal you will find brass and uh, under brass you will find this brush brass and in fact uh, uh, it has applied uh, this uh, feature to this fillet I have to apply this to the whole body so set body and uh, our model is created let's go to section view and uh, let's say I want to see the threads inside. Select OK. And uh, it is fine. Right? Uh, we can apply some chamfer here and some chamfer here. Right? Uh, next, uh, I'll go to let's say uh, key shot. And uh, for key shot, I have already uh, downloaded its uh, uh, add-in. So I'll go to tools, I'll go to key shot and send to key shot. So it will take some time. And uh, let's cancel this. Let's cancel this as well. Go to environment, just reset this and uh, go to background. I think I need color background. Uh, first of all, I change my uh, material. Yes. Uh, let's say I go to uh, I go to view and uh, full screen. Let's go to library and uh, let's apply some material. And uh, let's say I, I'll go to metal and uh, let's search metal. And under metal, I'll go to anodized and uh, let's say I go to aluminum. Uh, let's apply something like this. Uh, you can apply any material you want, uh, any texture. You can apply different textures as well to this model. And uh, let's uh, move our model. Let's say let's do it like this. And uh, say right. Okay. Right. Uh, you can apply different colors to this model and different uh, textures if you want, and environments, different uh, backgrounds. Let's say this background. And this background, uh, but I'll not apply to this. And I think plain white background is fine. Just cancel this, and uh, let's go to image image setting, and uh, let's change it to 1280 by 720, and uh, center effect model. Let's change my perspective to some. 103 and let's go to render settings and uh, I always use 10,000 dpi go to options 
and here I'm using 512 samples and uh, I think it will take a bit let's change it to 128 and uh, I use all my CPU cores and uh, it will uh, save my uh, render in this location and uh, select render it will calculate and it will take some time Okay, we are almost done with this rendering and uh, uh, so it took almost uh, 4 minute 31 uh, seconds to complete 128 samples of this render select ok and uh, let's cancel this i can save my uh, key shot file uh, let's say to save and uh, let's say key shot uh, i So that's it for uh, uh, today's uh, tutorial. I hope you like it. And uh, if you have any questions uh, related to this topic or uh, any other, uh, you can ask in the uh, comment section. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel for uh, more videos.